Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to do a review for an OJS journal. I'll assume you know how to register and log into the system, but if not, there are other videos for that. For this video, though, let's focus in on the review. You'll know that you have a review request when you receive an email from the editor. Let's take a look. Here it is here. And we can see in the body of the message that we need to let the journal know within the next few days as to whether or not we can undertake the review. We can see a link that will take us to the journal. And we can also see that the review itself is due one month from today in this case. There's also a link that will allow us to go directly into the journal. It's critically important that you take these dates seriously. One of the main problems editors face is reviewer delays. If you honestly don't have the time to meet these deadlines, it's better to decline rather than saying yes and then not doing the work. For this example, though, let's assume you're able to do the review. The next step is to log into OJS and accept the assignment. Put in my username here. And we can see from the dashboard that we have one assignment waiting for us to take a closer look at. I'll click on the link title. And we can see in the first section, submission to be reviewed, the title, the section of the journal that it's proposed for, the abstract, the editor who's responsible for this submission, and any metadata. And if we click on that, we can see if there's any additional information. Notice that we don't see any information about the author. This is a double-blind peer review process, so the author won't know who we are doing the review, and as the reviewer, we don't know the name of the author. Below that, in the review section, we can see that the editor's request was made on the 6th of March. Uh, there's a blank because we haven't responded as to whether we'll do it or not, or we haven't submitted the review yet, but we can see that the review is due on the 3rd of April, so we've got about a month from today. So let's skip down now to review steps. And there are in total five steps. The first one will notify the submissions editor as, the, as to whether we will undertake the review. Again, if we look at those deadlines and see that we just can't do it by then, we should decline. But let's take it on. All we have to do is check the box. And you'll see that it brings up an email to the editor letting them know that we'll do it and we'll meet that deadline. We'll send that. Okay, now we're ready to go. We can see now that our response is accepted and we're on to step two. We can click on this file name and that will allow us to download and open up the, sub the submission. and that'll open it up in our word processor, and we can read through it and begin to do our review. Let's just jump back to the journal. If there were any supplementary files, data, images, those would be linked here, but there's nothing there. So that's fine. Step three, we can click on the icon to fill in the review form. In some cases, the journal may not have set um, specific questions like these, and you may be able to just write a free text review of the, of the document. But in this case, this journal has asked us some very specific questions, and we can go through and answer those. I won't fill all of those in, just in the interest of time, but we can see there's a set of questions here. I'll just quickly type something in. You can see that they're all required fields. Also keep in mind that the author will probably see these comments, so you want to make sure that you're being um, positive and not being nasty. It's always good to uh, have a constructive outlook on doing your reviews. Okay, good. We've done all of that. We filled those in, and I'll save it. Step four, if we wanted to, we've got the option to upload a file here. Perhaps in the Microsoft Word version, we've turned on track changes and we've added 
um, all of our comments right within the body of that document and save those. So this is the point we could upload that revised file. Again, we'd want to make very sure that there was nothing that could identify us and um, breaking the um, blind nature of this review. But I'm not going to do that now. We've made our comments in the review form. And finally, on step five, we just make a recommendation. We've got a few here to choose from, to accept as it is, to ask for a few minor revisions. We could ask for, uh, or we could suggest rather, that it gets resubmitted for review. That typically means that there's fairly major problems with the paper um, and the author is going to have to spend a fair amount of time reworking it and then we'll need to resubmit it and have it go through another round of a review like this one, possibly with us, possibly with a different reviewer altogether. The next choice, resubmit elsewhere. Perhaps the paper looks strong but it really doesn't fit in with the journal's um, aim and scope in your opinion. You could suggest that uh, the paper is declined. You just think that there's no way that this is appropriate and no amount of changes is going to make it appropriate. And then the last one, you could make some comments if any of these choices didn't fit. In this case, we're just going to say revisions required and submit review to editor. We've got a little pop-up letting us know that once we make this decision, we can't change it, but we're happy with our decision. We say, okay, an email automatically pops up. It'll let the editor know that we've finished our work. We send that off and we're done. That's it. We've now completed a peer review using an OJS journal. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to do a peer review within OJS and that the next time you're asked to do one, you'll feel confident in proceeding. Thanks for watching. See you next time.